welcome to SCM. It's Cheyenne, and I have a very special guest with me today, Tamara. Hi. And we are going to be doing some unique products again. So what I have is I have Splurge Cream Eyeshadow. I have it in Skeptical today. It's black and shiny. We have... Go this, this way? Li there we go. Lip Bond Bonds. It is um, a lip chap with a tint of color so that you can have color on your lips. And I have a sculpting, sculpting trio kit. So it's got like everything in there and the brush to go with it. So Tamara's gonna do the sculpting trio. I'm gonna do the splurge. And we're gonna swatch first before we jump right into it. So we're gonna do some swatches for you. So this is skeptical. You can also build to it, like if you wanted it darker. Like it's a nice cream, it feels really soft. Can't really feel it, like if I left this on here I'd probably forget I was wearing it all day. So that's what that is. So this part here is for your cheeks to give them definition there. This middle one is hard to see, it's to highlight underneath your eyes and your nose and stuff. And then we have the bright highlighter, which you would use on your nose and your like lip right here. Your cupid's bow, that's what they call it. So that's what we have for those swatch tests. And then just the little lip balm tinted. It's very, very pink. It's and this is called Cherry Cobbler. It's very pink. So we're just going to apply those. I'm going to talk a little bit about the products. The sculpting trio that she's going to do comes with a brush. It's, I don't know, it looks like it's cut. And then it has this flatter end right here. It is super, super soft. I like the way it feels. Mm -hmm. It is. So she's going to do that. It also does come with pictures to show you where to go of like what goes where. Well, I guess if you had a different shaped face it would be a little different but it's a pretty basic guideline. So the sculpting trio comes in medium, light, and dark. I have light because my skin is lighter. Um, to store it, it's room temperature. The shelf life of this is 24 months so as soon as you open it it's 24 months. It's recommended as soon as you receive it from the shipping company. Let it sit at room temperature for about an hour before you open it. Otherwise, it'll it's it's not as good as it should be. And then you'll think your product doesn't work when it really does. Just had to sit out for a minute. So this little kit right here is $60. It's a bit on the pricey side. She's going to put this on, and I will talk about Splurge. So with Splurge, it does last all day. It's a cream. It's really soft. It is like you could sleep with it on and wake up with it and it'd still be there. It's not like it's gonna just like wash off. It does come in 12 shades. I have Skeptical, which is the black one. It's good for 18 months as soon as it's been opened. And what's so great about this product is it's like it's an everyday kind of thing where it's buildable. You can wear it in the morning, you can wear it at night. It's still gonna look spectacular. Can you tell I don't wear eyeshadow very often? Cream eyeshadow. Like it, it just goes on the brush so easy. It looks honestly like whipped cream. Like, sorry, I don't mean to cut her out. See, like, it's like whipped cream. It's weird. And like for me, I have like super oily skin, so stuff like this doesn't stay. And it likes to go all over my face where it's not supposed to go. How's that feel? Feels pretty good. Smooth and not like... Clumpy. Feels good. How does it smell? Could you wear it all day? Probably. I don't think... Personally, I would wear black every day. 
but some people like that and I just I don't know how to use black as a good coat I guess I don't like it's sparkly I don't know if you can see that, but it's like super sparkly. I mean Halloween probably, but I definitely would not wear black every day. That's not my thing. But I have the lip bonbons, which comes in five shades. Like I said, I have cherry cobbler. What a great name. Too bad it didn't smell like cherry cobbler. <laughs> right? It doesn't have the greatest smell ever. It smells like it smells like makeup. It definitely does. So this is twenty six dollars. The shelf life is one to two years. Five years if it's unopened. Store at room temperature. So what's so great about this is like it's like a lip chap, but it adds color. It's nicely tinted. Like it's not horrible. For other ones where you can't see it, like obviously you could have seen it apply yeah it definitely feels like a lip chap like it's kind of like silicone -y. but maybe it'll absorb yeah it doesn't taste very good either I should probably stop licking <laughs> <laughs> difficult when you're first starting it, when you don't know what you're doing, but I think you've got the hang of it. So that's really great with this too, is like, for example, like, I never knew what I was doing when I first got it either. And from this little instruction thing, <laughs> it like, it helps out so much because I'm like, what do I do with this? And I do the basics, like, of what to do, sort of, but it's, it's hard. Like, they make it look so easy, but like, with these pictures, it's definitely easier to do it with. How do you blend it? I just use this. To blend it all? Yep. And like, it should be super blendable, like to go in with everything. Look at her scrubbing her face. <laughs> <laughs> Like that? Yep. Just blend it all in. I think I put too much on one cheek. <laughs> it's hard to blend sometimes, like when it doesn't want to move, it's like it's been I've had that happen one time where it sat for a little bit too long and it just like it was like darker in that spot and I was like, oh god. Please help me. See, like, my face is so oily. It's, like, super oily right now. Which, like, really sucks. I hate having oily skin. Because, like, no product ever stays. My cover-up just came off because it's so oily. I think that's good. It looks good. It's really easy, right? <clears throat> mm -hmm. It doesn't even feel like you're wearing anything. No, that's good. Okay. Now for you to try the other stuff. Right. Yes. This. It's the Splurge Cream Eyeshadow. See if I can attempt to do this properly. <laughs> I usually fail at everything I do. This is eyeshadow, right? Not eyeliner? Yes, this is eyeshadow. Oh, yeah. Pink. It goes on like super smooth, I find. Like, it feels like you're like putting on a, putting a cloud on your face. It's very soft. I feel like it's super blendable, super easy. I don't even know if you can even see I'm putting anything on. Did I do both eyes or one? <laughs> you can do one or <laughs> if you want both eyes. 
Do you like it? I do. It's very sparkly, though. Would you wear it every day of your life? Probably on special occasions. But I wouldn't say every day. Like, if you got a different color, maybe? Oh, yeah, definitely. So that's good. I like the feel of it. It doesn't feel heavy like other cream shadows feel. Yeah. It doesn't feel bulky either. Like. And you don't have, like, the powder always falling into your eyes. Like, I have other cream eyeshadows, but I'm just going to do a comparison to that. This is another one. Like, it's not. It looks really heavy. It is. Like, feel. It's hard to get stuff out right now, but. See, like, how shiny that is, but it, it's heavy. Like, you can feel it. Rather than the splurge, where it's nice and smooth and light. Like, even still spreading it out, it, like, it goes. And then this one, you have to, like, pull. And it's it's heavy, and it's it's gross. It kind of feels like clay. It does. So, like, this one feels like whipped cream, almost. Like, it's so fluffy. It's not coming off my hand now. <laughs> this other blue stuff's really hard to get off. So. But, that's what I really, really like about it. It's, just, it's so fluffy. Yeah. Do you want to try the the bun buns? I like the name of it. Bun kind of funky. How does it feel? It feels smooth. Doesn't smell the greatest. <laughs> no, it does not. Maybe if it like had a fruity smell to it. Mm -hmm. Again, it's not, it's, it's shiny, but it's not like a lip gloss shine. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's a, it's a nice color, like it's not. And it feels like chapstick. Yeah, it does. It's like got that silicone feel to it. Mm -hmm. Where it feels like it's like, it's gonna suck it in, but it's not ready to. <laughs> I like it. And like, even blinking a bunch, and like, I have hooded, hooded eyes. So like, when I close my eyes, this part here comes all the way down to my eyelashes. And it hasn't spread up there yet. Which is super awesome, because I always have that problem of everything going way up here. And it's like, I look like I'm like, I don't know, like some random person with like, super huge eyeballs with makeup that like, like old people when they do their makeup and they do it like, all the way up to here. And it's like... <laughs> No, no, ma'am, that's not where you put that. <laughs> so, it's super awesome that it's not, like, spreading way up there. Thank God. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me today. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe to, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page, and follow on Twitter. There we go, that's what I was trying to say. And it's been a joy. Thanks. Bye.